Welcome to the Trini London Taxi Show. In the cab, in a second, we've got Ruth Crilly, who I've always adored. She's a YouTube star and an Instagram sensation, and she goes under the tagline, A Model Recommends. She is known as a model. She has a very discreet private life. She doesn't bring much into Instagram feed, and she's also a graduate in law. I think there's a lot more to Ruth Crilly than meets the eye, so let's get her in the cab. Very nice to have you in the taxi. This is more spacious than I thought you. it was going to be. Well, you know what? We could have had the big cab, but we couldn't afford that. So Obviously, we got I know Michael. what it's like inside the cab. It's very nice to have you here. And I have. Oh, look, she's saying. Oh, sorry. And it's a no, but it's like <laughs> I haven't done it for a bit. I feel I know you. I think what's really interesting is when you work in a similar industry, and then I'm always looking at different feeds, but you are on my feed. And I just see this charming life, and I see this sense of humor. And I then rang up Caroline here once last night and I said, because we have different parts of the show. Yeah. And I said, look, there's a dare part, there's this part, there's that part. So I need help here because, you know, you're quite private and you never refer to your husband by name and all those nope. things. So, so it's kind of like I'm thinking, okay, what can I talk to you about? I thought I might just start just to break the ice mm -hmm. with a bit of truth or dare. So the, okay. the thing about truth or dare is this, there's always a consequence. So we've got some jelly beans here. I love jelly beans. Yeah, you do. I know you really love these ones. I've got a really sweet tooth. Do you? Like, I can't stop once okay. I start. So, so these are the... Can I just try one? You, no, start? not, not oh, yet. Yeah. You know why? Why? It's truth or dare. So, oh, right, okay, so what okay. do you think is wrong with these jelly beans? Oh, no. Yeah. There's yeah. going to be like one that tastes of... A vomit and things like that, yeah. Is that... Uh, are you ready? So what oh. you've got to do is you're going to spin these. And when yeah. you get to a pot, that's going to have a question for you in it. This is exciting. <laughs> the production value here is immense. It is so <laughs> immense. I know, because I just love these questions that I thought of for you. Oh, God, I don't know. Okay. What's the first paragraph of the trial by Franz Kafka say? Um, it, it's going to be something really profound and short, isn't it? Yeah. Like, Did you read it? No. All right, fine. Is you, it the jelly bean? It's a jelly bean. Oh, it's man. a jelly bean first. Yes, oh, it's our first successful jelly bean. Are Can these all going to be literature questions? No way. It's Ooh. a trick question because I'm only just reading it now, and that's why I've, I've only got maybe. an honest degree in it. I know. Go on, go on. Uh, are they all disgusting? I uh, no, they're not. I reckon that one's going to okay. be okay. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> oh, God, you're oh, genuinely so lucky. I genuinely feel nervous. All right, shall I read it to you now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, a rest conversation with Mrs. Grutback and Miss Putster. Full stop. Mm -hmm. Two lines. Someone must have been telling lies about Joseph K. He knew he had got done nothing wrong, but one morning he was arrested. Every day at eight in the morning, he was brought in breakfast by Mrs. I've got, I haven't got the glass on because I'm reading it now. Krubach's cook. Mrs. Krubach was his landlady, but today she didn't come. This had never happened. Starting with this, and then we'll go on to colours. Um, you've made these all purposefully really obscure and different. No. What? These are relevant Mount. to you now! What does the first paragraph of Mount say? Oh, is that Jenny Cooper? Yes, it's a book you had on your blog. Um, or even what it's about. I, Just I, tell me what it's about. Uh, it is, it's the newest one, isn't it? Yes. You know, I only read a couple of chapters because okay. all the characters seem very similar. All right, who was it's, the main character that we always think about in any oh, of his Rupert's. novels? Uh, Come on, Magic Black. Yep. What's it? Campbell Black. Yes. Rupert Excellent. Campbell Black. Okay. okay. I know this. All right. Probably says something like, "Bloody hell, Marjorie." Um, put your pants back on. <laughs> yeah, put your I mean, back the on. thing is, that's what I thought it would say too. On a stifling hot June evening, some 225 years later, Rupert Campbell Black, the great, 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 great grandson of Rupert Black, looked out of his office in the west wing of the same pale, pale gold Queen Anne house in Penscombe. Right. You remember Penscombe? Yeah. The same lake still glittered as sweetly as this ancestor's blue roan mare in the June sun, which the great olive brain blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's right. Yes, the intro is it goes back in time exactly. and he falls off the horse yes. and he's a cad. Oh, yeah. He's a cad. And he's yeah. a, really my first books properly. Riders. No, because I'm older than you. Victoria Holt, Jean Plady, and then Barbara Cartland. Oh, I had right, a Barbara okay. Cartland library at school that I would loan books out on. The dashing duke, de flowers, the debutante. That kind of book. nice. I like yeah. it. Okay, you got a third question. Oh, okay. Okay. Name all the little women. Uh, uh, do you know what? Three. No. 
to? I can't remember. Oh, Jelly Bean. Uh, you could just guess at the station. Jelly Bean. That's a funny name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, oh, they're really normal Old names. Old-fashioned names. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's going to be Alice, the Louisa, and. You'll think Louisa May Alcott. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I was going to, May was going to be my next one. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. you know. No, I think chance. another one begins with, like May, but it's meh, eh, eh. Jelly Bean. Go. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Okay. Megan. <laughs> no, Meg, Amy, <laughs> Meg. Mrs. March, Beth, and Joe. Oh, right. I wouldn't have got I any of them. Known. But I'm going to think you have Jelly Bean. <laughs> See, I'm thinking the ones that aren't green or, yeah. or like, von colour. I'll do one with you on this, on this time. I'll take whatever you're taking. Will you? Yeah, I will. I'll do it. Because I wouldn't have known those names. Okay, I'm going to go for black. Coffee. Well, of course I got the same one. <laughs> no, but no, it's sort of slight different. Right, I'm turning to it. Oh, no. Mm, no, it's turning to something else. What's that? Burnt coffee. Poo. Do you want a taste of poo? Mine doesn't taste of poo. Do you want a swap? <laughs> Not any poo I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, great. Now, you got another challenge. <laughs> oh, let's go on to the next. Okay, okay. This one is about... Makeup and yes. you've got to do a look. So you've got a lovely light bit of makeup on mm -hmm. now. You can just go over what you've got. Okay. And I want you to do whatever's going to come out of that stack there. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. And how long do I get? You're going to get two minutes. <gasps> it's going to be on a timer. Oh, hold on, you're no, not going to have a mirror. Oh, no, it's got no, a question no, 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 no. The Vlogging makeup. Oh, Ooh, that's okay. really interesting. Vlogging mm -hmm. makeup. All right. So I'm going to first of all help you choose just categories and you've got to choose colours and stuff and then yeah. we'll put the clock on. So are you ready? I so would do ultimate glow. You would so be very, some, very glowy. Yeah, I want some So glow. you're going to start with that. And okay. I think probably you would be a light, do you think light or light medium, girls? I think a light medium. Light medium, okay, light medium. So you're going to use that. That's mm. going to give you the glow and a tiny bit of pigment that's released mm -hmm. when you break it down. Um, and then I'm going to do a, You would you do foundation? I would, if I was filming. You yeah, would. I would. Would you really? But that's quite difficult to do as we're moving along. I'm sorry. Not with Trini London. Okay. Not with Trini London. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Okay, the thing keeps moving. Do I get back. a mirror? No. Okay, then you do it with it. With right, right, yeah, let's then, do it with that. Let's do well, that. Are we going to let her have a mirror? Should we let her have a mirror or not? Do you normally have a mirror? Some get it, some don't. I don't know. No, I don't know. Why was she saying, why don't I get it? So, I'm going to give you a mirror. Amazing. So when did you start modelling? I started modelling in the year 2000. So after or 2001. Uni uh, I was in my second year at law school and then I got scouted by Models One and I was really bored at law school. Were you? Did you have a passion to want to be a model? No. no did you have never. a passion to want to be a lawyer? Well, I sort of did because of Ali McBeal. Remember Ali McBeal? Oh, I McBeal. loved Ali McBeal. Yes, and, you were um, at the perfect age that it was like, yeah. you were sort of 17 when Ali McBeal was on or 15. No, how old were you? How old are you now? Born in 80, 1980. Okay, so Ali McBeal was actually probably you were 12, weren't you? Ali McBeal. Something like that. That's okay. <laughs> but the thing I was is, students now don't know they're born because they don't have to do any photocopying. So we used to have to go to the law library and we used to have to photocopy the cases and it would take about four hours. Yeah. And I mean, often when you think about the paper, every single person, so there were maybe 30 of us in that year, was photocopying the same. You had to wait for the book and then you had to photocopy it. And we're all waiting for the same thing. So crazy. And it just felt like the most pointless, pointless thing yeah. to me. Yeah. So that used to annoy me. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got scouted. I sort of put my picture in this scouting thing at Top Shop when I was quite drunk, as yes. you were, permanently yes. at university. And then they got in touch with me and said, oh, you know, we think you're great, come on down. I said like a shot. I didn't even yeah, finish it's the sentence, you know. Uh, I didn't move away from home, so I never went into halls of residence, and I, I don't think I ever got into the uni life. No, it doesn't sound. And then the modelling thing was just amazing. And I met my first ever job, my husband's shop. So oh, then I, I met him. Uh, we didn't get together for a while, but yeah, you know, but it, you was, it, was it kind sort of, of set twitchy. up life. Yeah. yeah, it was a bit twitchy. <laughs> That's so foul. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I and then I didn't really sort of how well it was going to go but it went really well and then I was sort of stuck in it then but because I never intended to be a model I always kept up my education at the same time so I did um, open university and I did uh, honours degree in literature 
Yeah. Then I did, I was just really into writing. Then I did a couple of postgraduate um, courses mm -hmm. on journalism and writing, creative writing, things like that. And then I did my master's in yeah. English and creative writing at Paul Holloway. So all the time that I was modelling, in fact that crossed over and started to blog, but all the time I was modelling I was doing other things, yeah. which then led into the blog. So and that the blog was really was writing led more than picture led. Yeah. Like oh that. yeah, I didn't I wasn't even interested in doing pictures or video or anything like that. The video came about when I thought, well, how are you gonna you can't describe to people how makeup sits or how you put it on. It's yeah. so much easier just to show somebody. Yeah. So I had a plaster as light from B and Q that was twelve ninety nine and I used to clip that to the back of the tripod. Oh it was so hot. I mean, I almost set fire to things all the time, and then I used to just film myself right up against the wall, and I'd show myself putting on, you know, the mascara or the blush or whatever it is that I was yeah. trying, yeah. and then that started to take off, so it just sort of went across different platforms. And you started that on YouTube, or you started that on Instagram? On the, so I started that on, oh no, Instagram wasn't around until, yeah. sort of. So you started like, on YouTube, like, I started four the blog years ago? No, YouTube would have been nine years ago nine almost. Years ago. So the blog was almost nine years ago in February, uh, and then it was YouTube, and then Instagram came way later. Yeah, uh, that was what 2014, I think. So would you like say that. you're more a YouTuber than you are an Instagrammer? Probably, I'm more old school. Okay. I love Instagram, yeah. and I think it's great, but. I find myself writing really long descriptions sometimes for pictures and then I'm thinking, well, this isn't the platform for doing that. But I think you can, weirdly, because yeah. I do read, like, there's people like Erica Davis who do essays, but I end up reading them. Yeah. You know, because I think if somebody has got something interesting to say, you read it. Mm -hmm. You know it's all about the thing, whether you're writing on a blog or whatever, in the first two sentences, you've got to captivate them and draw them in. And yeah. then you manage to do that in that space of time. Yeah, I suppose. I just think... But YouTube is not something about writing. No, it's not. So YouTube has become a, dis, a sort of a different beast altogether. Yeah. So what is it? To um, that things are a lot more produced. So I'll go into more detail, and it won't just be a review of one single product. It yeah. might be a look with lots of different products. Because yeah. usually, because it takes so much time to do, you wouldn't think so. Because it might be a ten-minute video, but sometimes it can take the whole day yeah. to, to do a video, pretty much. And so if I'm filming it and taking the effort, then it has to be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So it will have, it'll have been something that I'd have been thinking of for a while. Like lots of people might have been asking, you know, what the best foundations are for dry skin, for example, yeah. or... And then you um, go and research it. And buy yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. And then I'll spend a lot of time researching. And then the, the video is sort of the final bit. You said thrust then. I keep thinking <laughs> I can about see, I can keep Cooper. saying words like that. I know, it's terrible. As long as I don't say moist. It's like my man. The Scottish, the Scottish play. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do your look. So you're gonna do the look for vlogging. We've gone into a whole um, discussion about what it takes to vlog, but for you it would be a little bit of, you wanna be glowy, so you're gonna put that on. Yep. And then you're gonna do a foundation and you took off your makeup because I was just about to do your skin mm -hmm. tone. And I was just seeing, would you be, would you be, would you be? Might be. Let me just see. I have to say, I like it that everything's in a pot. So see. you can just. Do you like your skin to be your skin shakes? You did use the. Um, oh, where am I? I go did. slightly warmer you sometimes. Because that to me is your skin shade. Okay. So I kind of like to go there because I like to go yeah. your colour. Yeah, yeah, let's so do I'm going to do that. That's your yes. colour. Then blushes. So you can either do flush blushing, which is like all shades that we believe women go. So if oh. I look at your skin, her and I look at me. I do Electra if you're pet, or I might do Electra. I love that eye. I like Electra. Yeah, Electra. It's really like a, a, a wash. Okay. Then over here, That's these what two I want things on my too. Eyes, something okay. exactly this like you that. might like, because I put this on eyes, which is Katinka, which I love, which is like that <gasps> oh. on the eye. And then also people put, I mean, if you're really going daring, a bit of Dahlia, but you never do these colours. Like that. Wow, maybe okay. I will. Okay, so you've got a selection here. The thing about it, Ruth, is anything can go anywhere. Okay. On your oh, mark, okay. get okay. set, go! And stop watching those on. Four minutes she's getting, because she's a professional model, we want to see how she does it. So, keep rubbing it in until it changes the color of your skin. And if you want to go a bit darker, you go medium. But I think you want the glow, and I just want to, you have a beautiful tone of skin, and I think it's very nice to keep that tone. And that is Trintron you're using, I think. Yes, Trintron. Just where you need it. Just where the sun don't shine. No, just, just. Sorry. 
gorgeous. Is that colour good for you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a really good, and it goes in just, it blends into nothing. Yeah. You just build it up. But the whole point is I don't want to see where skin ends and foundation begins. No, exactly. I hate seeing it. Okay, you've done one minute on coverage. Oh, doing you're doing contour of, with that. I'm doing a bit of bronzage. All right, okay. So you're putting it not at the hollow, but above the hollow. Well, I like to make my cheekbones look higher up. So you put it above the hollow? I'm faking it. You're faking it, okay. Let's see that on you. Oh my goodness, time is three minutes, 40 seconds. Ah! Yeah. What about my lips? No, you're lips, fine, lips, you're going to get to lips. lips. You're going to get to lips. It's going to go really I've got 20 seconds time. left. You've got 20 seconds. So what Which are you going to do for lips? And what we did yeah. decide on the lip. Do exactly. you want a neutral lip? Do you want a bit of colour? Do you want a little bit of... Do you know what? Yeah. Because we're going to run out of time. What am I on now? Well, Katinka is a lip, by the way, the thing you put on your uh, eyes. Oh, that's a bit light, isn't it? You could do this. Put this on top. This is just... It looks like nothing, but it is... Yeah? Am I at four minutes? I loved it! Four minutes! <laughs> she was at four minutes! She was at four minutes. I'm just looking at the look. Excellent. Yes. Ding! Thank you. That's really pretty good because that's nice. no makeup makeup and the eyes look gorgeous. Yeah. Easy eyes to do, aren't they? Mm. Gorgeous eyes. I love that. That was great. Yeah. The BFF look, looks beautiful on I feel you. like, why do I ever spend more than that on my makeup? Like, that's the thing. That can be my routine. You that is your routine. In the back of the Trini Tag scene, she's going to show us her top 10 beauty buys. I am. Do you know what though? Yeah, tell me. I was me. caught by surprise by this because I'm actually on tour with Space and K at the moment. Okay. And um, so I'm away from home. All right. So you're you're going to use and things so, that come from there. Well, I have a mixture of things that are already in my bag, yeah. and a few things that I picked out from store that are my favourites at home. Okay. As okay. long as they're your true favourites, and yeah. we want to feel there's no loyalty-driven exercise here. These no, are just like no, things no. you love. Okay. Um, All right. But I just thought I'd, I'd say that. That's because, so fine. I get yeah, that. Because okay. I am away from home. So right. these aren't. These are little Elizabeth Arden oh retinol capsules. I just had them in the taxi. Yeah. And I love travelling with these capsules because you can literally fit your skincare into a tiny, tiny When bag. something comes twice, they're the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Retinol Capsules, because yes. I remember from things, yeah, yeah. and they were in another taxi ride. So when things come twice in a taxi ride, I think, I have to try it. Mm. And you use a light retinol. You don't like a heavy retinol. I'm sort of working my way up, I have to say. But I can't be bothered with anything that's going to give me downtime. Oh, right. So this, you, you want I just a, don't feel that I'm a there gentle yet. solution. All right. Exactly. So exactly. this is for somebody, and we, well, I it's think what we mentioned, it's a starter mm. retinol concept. So that's, I'm just going to leave that there. Okay. Okay, that was good. Do good, interesting, yes. Darfan Cleansing Balm. Do you smell this? I haven't used Darfan for 15 years. How amazing it's is that? It's quite a great smell. It's, yeah. The smell is, for those who aren't smelling, it's sort of like honey, eucalyptus, herbs. It's slightly medicinal, but in a very mm. nice way. It's just gorgeous. It's one of I mean, my favourites. And the, the consistency is it's almost like a sort of gel honey. Yeah, it's sort of, the consistency is a bit Romany wild more than Yves yes. Lom. Yes, it is. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's really got a beautiful, oilier consistency than a balm. We're just in a pothole West London, ladies, as we juggle along the street. <laughs> this has been an all-time favourite this year. The DCL eye one. peptide eye. The I peptide think eye, brilliant. you do think it's good? Yeah, okay. I do. All right, because I don't use an eye, but you use an eye product. I tell you why I use an eye product. Yeah. Because I think that, because the skin is so different, it's thinner, it's drier. Yeah. I don't particularly want to use what I'm using on my oh, face. Even if it's a serum? If it's a serum, yeah, but the thing is, I so often test, like, you know, acids and peel pads yeah. and things like that, that um, it, it just makes more sense for me to always, if I've always just got my eye cream, and yeah. that's what I use morning then. and night, then I never have an issue with like, oh, do I take it to the eye or do I stop? Okay. I just know that that's all what right. I do and I don't have to confuse things. So this is DCL, we all know DCL from the vitamin C night booster that I use and I love. Um, Michael. Yeah. If we go on any street which doesn't bounce so much, that would be great. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, um, Drunk Elephant. Do you do you love Drunk Elephant? I like the you serums. went to the launch, didn't you? I think the serums okay. are brilliant. So this They're is my favorite the things. this is their um, the hyaluronic serum. The hyaluronic serum. And I think the vitamin C serum is good. Yeah. And the um, glycolic light serum. Yeah. I think serums is their is their thing. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, I liked their peptide. They have this cloud cream. Oh, which is yeah. slightly like skin, but skin mm -hmm. was just, skin smells like every other M&S product, even mm -hmm. though it's not M&S, but you know when you go into M&S and you go into that section, everything smells the same. Yeah. I, but I feel with Drunk Elephant that, yeah, I love that cream. The 
vitamin C I found a bit true drippy. Right. Yeah. And um, and I haven't tried this because I'm weird about hyaluronic, so I'm really interested. Yeah. That it's not going to dry me out. You know, ultimately some of hyaluronics do, dry. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put that on top of everything you I've got just on. so I can have a, a little, little feel. Of its feel. No, no smell at all, drunk elephant no. doesn't really smell of anything apart from their vitamin C. They are a great brand, their packaging's beautiful. Is this a little sample? That's a tiny, That's a tiny one. sample. Yeah. Okay, nice samples just got, too. I had Love that with me because I was travelling. All right, fantastic. I'm going to do a product that I don't have in my bag. Okay, but you can tell but, us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So one of my sort of staple creams when I'm home, you use on release. Yes. Love on release. Yeah. But um, it's the Roche Posay and it's Tolerian cream. To, uh, is it the it's tolerance the sense, range? Yes, from the tolerance exactly. range. Exactly. And I find because I'm always testing things like. So it's the tolerance. Which cream from good tolerance? Jeans and things like yeah. that. Um, either the Ultra. Fluid or the night, and they're all there's three of them in yeah. that range, and they, mm. they're all quite similar to be honest. Yeah. But um, I find that if I have any kind of sensitivity or flare ups or anything yeah. like that, then those are the ones that I just take it back down to basics. Yeah. They're just really simple, and they won't aggravate anything. No, they've been, been formulated to be yeah. highly tolerated. Okay. Great, um, perfect. That's good. So, so yeah. La Roche Posay tolerance and they're not range. Expensive. They're like sort of 11 to 22 pounds or something. Yeah. And um, it's a great range. I think it's similar. I would do also the Aven similar. They have a tolerance as well. Um, yes, Aven, they do. And they're, they're very yeah. good. And I discovered them 30 years ago. And that's when I had very sensitive skin and mm. I worked. So you've also got good jeans in there. I've got the good jeans. Yeah. This is the new UK one. Ah, uh, so this is the one which isn't so strong because the other it's one so, I, it's still so strong though. Nothing but, but ever what, makes my skin tingle anymore. Just for good. people who are obsessed with good jeans, it was sold here for about four years and it was really strong and then something in the formula was not actually an approved ingredient in the UK so they had to change it, didn't it they? Well, it was lactic acid, it just wasn't at the approved strength. Oh, all right, so in fine. America they can have it really, really strong. And, and in England not. Uh, and yeah, yeah, in the EU. Yeah. And so they've swapped it in for just loads of glycolic and yeah. I mean, I find that really tingly. This is so tingly. I mean, mm. this is much more tingly than usually. This is really tingling yeah. on my hands. I think it tingles Do more you think it, yeah. than the old lactic one. Yeah, because lactic I prefer as an acid to glycolic. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people People have said that yeah. and I, some people just don't get on well with glycolic but yeah. I think that in terms of just trying to rescue it yeah I mean where it's sat yeah. in the market then I think it's probably quite a good solution yeah this is like an acid serum really isn't yeah it? it's sort it's of not an acid toner it's a huge resurfacer yeah I mean if I feel sort of anything that's similar to it it would be probably Natura Bisse Glyco Peel, which is a mask, I tried that. which is okay. prohibitively expensive, like 195 pounds. Right, okay. But it's got a very, it's a huge amount of glyconic mm. in it. And you put it on as a mask before you might do a hydrating mask, and it just whoosh, takes off every single dead sin cell, does not have a chance yeah. to survive. But this is interesting that they've changed the formula. So, you, you, are you enjoying it or are you still testing it? Still testing it, but I think it's, I, I think that I like it as much as the old version actually. Yeah. But you know there are all there's so many glycolics. I know, aren't there, there are, but it, but it is a phenomenal uh, brand. Yeah. I think they do have some incredibly cracker products. Yeah. Okay, so you've got about six you've done, and right, that okay. One, so I've got a spritz else? with me. We tried oh, this Emma one. Hardy. Do you know what? I normally I can't be yeah. with spritzes. They get on my nerves. They yeah. get on my hair, and everything gets lank. And I just okay. lots of them I feel dry me out more than the, the, you know. The you put it on, and yeah. then two minutes later you think oh, I need another dose. Yeah. That one is almost like spraying on a serum. Or yeah, something. It's got a beautiful, and it really sits on top. Beautiful I ingredients. think it's probably mm. one of the only spritzers I bother with. Okay. Have you tried Eliza Skin Prebiotic Spritzer? No. Okay. Eliza Skin. Changed my mind, aren't you? <laughs> okay. No, because I just think it's worth trying. It's the only other one. I love this spritzer. There we are. Um, Emma Hardy Spritzer. And a lot of them call themselves hydrating toner, and I don't think they are, but this is hydrating facial mist. Mm -hmm. and, and I agree, it is really, and Plump and Glow, it's got ingredients in it that really do do some of those things. Yeah. Um, Eliza Skin does a range mainly for people who have problems with their skin, but they have this prebiotic hydrating mist, which I use when I'm on airplanes, and it is really amazing. I should have to put that yeah. on my list. Yeah, put it on your list. Okay. Can I go in with a few more bits that aren't in my bag? Yes, I yes, feel go in. You feel like we're getting there now. Oh, we're kind of warming up, um, and what else could there be? Yes. So, Beauty Pie, the whole retinol range. Also so good. I've it's loved so it. good. Yeah. The one with the vitamin C. <gasps> That's amazing. One. Yeah. The only thing I'm confused about yeah. is um, why you need the separate retinol eye cream, then the serum, then the cream. It's so like, do you need all three? three well, this is... I thought it they goes were a to bit the more... thing about your eye saying mm. it's a different molecule size and therefore 
it could also be that some people feel they don't retinol on their whole face and they just have crow's feet and therefore they're just by the eye. It's not so much the eye one that I'm actually confused by, I suppose. It's more the serum and then the cream. It's like, well, if the retinol oh, is yes. top strength in the cream, why do I need the serum? Mm. If it's top strength in the serum, why do I need the cream? Is there any point layering them up? I need to ask them, I suppose. But yes. nevertheless, I think it's amazing. Maybe, yeah, I, I would agree. And I think the whole beauty pie for those of you watching is started by the lady who started Bliss, Margie Kilgore. And it is phenomenally good in so much that she'll go around finding incredible formulas and then if you become a member of the beauty pie club it costs you very little to be able to buy quite expensive cream so there's a beauty pie listing price maybe the cream for the retinol is 98 pounds but if you are a part of that um, club it's 20 pounds or something yeah. it's a good idea it's brilliant it's a good idea and at first I was a bit like mm, the commitment of a subscription isn't my uh, you, ideal yes. scenario with yeah. beauty but then actually if you were using the, the um, Japan Fusion Cleanser it's amazing oh my god yes 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 so if and you were using the, these products the, yeah. month in month out everything, I love you're everything. saving an absolute yeah. fortune yes. in the long term I think we never like to add up as women how much we actually spend on beauty no but I'm that always surprised so nice on you thank you so, mystery looks so nice on her I love it. Okay. All right. Do you have one more you want to say? Um, yes. I have just finished a pot of this, and now I'm starting a new pot. Have you tried Herbal, this? Herbolaris Pink Cloud. I have. Yeah. I think it's just a bit of a treat. Yeah, it is a bit. It, it came out a while ago. It's not. Yeah, new. I don't think it's new. New. No, but it is beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, it's a great. It's too range. light. It's actually too lightweight for me on its own. Yeah. I have to layer it up over a hyaluronic. You would serum you do a serum like that. Yeah, yeah, it but is. but yeah, I think because fun. of that, it's a suit all cream. Yeah. Because, you know, it's those fun. that have got very sort of more, more sort of combination oily skin, they'll get on with it's, yeah. it's light enough for them. It's light enough. So, this is a light hydrator, pink cloud herbivore. I'm going to go back to it now. I did feel, was it. Was it enough for me? That was the thing. Exactly. Yeah. That's I, how I feel. Yeah. But maybe then, it's summer then. Maybe it's a summer hydrator. Well, I was using it in the summer, but weirdly, I find it better now that it's in winter. Okay. Yeah, but I do layer it. It's like it's like my top coat, so I'll go in with all of the retinol stuff, blah, 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 and then that is my treat on the top. Treat on the top. Yeah. We love a treat on the top. Yeah. And your final. And okay. your final. Yes. So I have finished a pot of this. I've just started a new pot of yes. this, and that's Pink Cloud oh. Cream from Her before. That is gorgeous. I have tried that a little bit. I haven't not, come back to it's it. It's a bit of a treat. Yes. Um, because it's £42 pounds yeah. and it's not, I don't want to say it's not a high performance cream, but it's not one of those like results driven, casual, yeah. or whatever. It's not giving it, you it's a It's more list like, for me, it's a top actives. coat. It doesn't cut it on its own as a moisturiser yeah. if I've got dry skin. But if I've got it over the hyaluronic serum and what have you, then it's I think it's just beautiful. It smells amazing. The texture's amazing. Put that little um, sh uh, sheath on it. Yes. What is that all about? It's called a sheath. I'll tell you what it's about because I had to. I know it just sounds so dodgy, doesn't it? I've got a product coming out in February, which is now just I'm so excited by. It. But it's more liquid than more of my than most of my products. So in my pot, I am having for the first time. I never knew what this was called. A sheath, mm -hmm. because what happens is when if a cream has a pretensity that if it's upside down, it might go into the lid. When you open it new, oh, you don't want to see gunk on the lid. No. And that's why you have wondered. it. Yeah. Okay, so it's only things that have got that cream like texture. That have a, um, yeah, because if they're a solid, you'd never get a sheath. Right. It's when it's creamy. If it, this is just this conversation, actually. Sheath. We're going to look back and think, oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, can I just say, it's been a joy to have you in the taxi. Thank you. And Thanks to for finally me. meet you. I've got a present um, for you. Oh my gosh, you've got a present for me. Oh, well, I never get this in the taxi. Yeah, yeah, it's this is like lovely. Obviously, self promotion. It's yes. my dry shampoo. There you go. Oh, yes, I have about your dry shampoo. All right, so we're I gonna... did actually use it before I got in. So okay, it's, it's Colab dry shampoo original. Yeah. Oil absorbing without white residue. There yeah. we go. There okay. You go. So who you needs dry shampoo? <laughs> a little bit further away. Yeah. Okay. All right. 30 centimeters. Okay. How's it looking? Can I feel it? And yeah. There's no white residue, everybody. Oh, thank God for that. And it just also <laughs> has a really nice smell. And it's light in the hair. Yeah. But it's does a it do? One. Does it do? And it and it just mm. has given you something. Oh, God, I just I've got not really not. fine hair, so it goes lank literally as, as soon as I've washed it. Oh, I like so it. I use it as a styling product more than oil absorbing. I mean, it, it's great oil absorbing. But it's good, isn't it? Did you say 30 centimetres away? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Batiste. I never liked it anyway. Goodbye, Batiste. <laughs> um, so, 
Woo! That was Ruth Quilly <laughs> in the Trini London taxi, and it was such a, a joy. Thank Thanks you, darling. for having me. Right. Off you go into the okay, night. Okay, okay, okay. Into See the night, <laughs> so we can go and pick up Muriel of Austral.